So we are on the biggest passenger jet on the, the shortest route it does from Muscat to Dubai. So it's a double decker A380 flying us the 45 minute journey to Dubai. We are back in Dubai. I'm sure you have put two and two together. It is for a meet and it's the Speedo Swim Squad's Invitational Meet. It's the premier short course meet of the Middle East season. It's heat, there's finals, it's at the Hamdan Squats Complex here in Dubai that you've seen many times on my videos now. This will mark the first of three weekends in a row where I'll be uploading vlogs. I've just checked in the hotel room. I've been playing a bit of Nintendo Switch a new Pokemon game, I don't know if there's any Pokemon fans here. So I've got a little bit of time before I head to dinner. I thought you guys might be quite curious as to what I've got with me for my, my meet this weekend. What suit, so I use the, the Finis uh, backpack, it's the rival backpack, it's great, I love it. I've got my snorkel, that's for warming up. Absolutely most essential tool for me. I've got a spare race hat and spare goggles. I've got a spare pair of Cobra Ultras and a Mizuno GX Sonic head, race cap there. That's in case my main race hat and goggles break, but I have a Cobra Ultra swipe mirrored and a, a Swans race cap, that's my go-to. I've got my tier Catalyst Stroke hand paddles, again for warm up. My second favorite, my most vital piece of equipment behind the snorkel. And then we've got some tech suits in the back. So I've got the tried and tested Mizuno GX Sonic 3ST. These are quite an old pair. I've got a new pair coming from Mizuno for Nationals next week. I've also got the new X-Ray Tier Venzo. Really looking forward to wearing these because they're the high-weighted version. They're brand new, so they'll be nice and fast. So this will be a cool one to race in. I've got the Mizuno, as you can see, I, I, I use arena pouches for all my suits, but this is the American colorway of the Mizuno GX-3 MR. It's a great suit, I'll be using that for medleys. Again, you can only purchase this from Mizuno North America. Um, 3 MR, classic suit. And finally, uh, I'm not sure if I'll wear this this weekend yet. It's my, my most pristine version of all my Mizunos now. I've only worn three times, actually. Um, but that's the Mizuno GX Sonic 4 ST. It's my, my favorite sex suit. Most likely to be saved for next week at Nationals, but we'll see. I may end up busting it out this weekend if things are going well. And then I have a couple of just spare suits in case anything happens to these or I want to whack sank out for a heat. I have the engine bullet wing skin. It's just a solid suit really. Uh, again, I take spare suits in case some of the kids rip, they need a suit. And again, another quick one to put on, the Arena Carbon Air. If anything happens, there's an emergency, I need to get a suit on quick, or someone else needs to get a suit on quick. Can't go wrong with the Arena Carbon Air. So that's what I've packed, I've got a towel in there. I've got my Optimum Nutrition Pre-Pro Workout. Got some little uh, protein flapjacks here in case I get peckish along the way. Tech suits, carbon air, engine bullet wing skin, Mizuno GX Sonic 4ST, Mizuno GX Sonic 3MR, Tier Venzo High Waisted X-Ray Colorway, and the GX Sonic 3ST. So I love almost every element of my, my focus, my taper meets. I like, well, resting off in training. I like feeling great when I dive in the pool for the meet and swimming faster than ever. But the one element I do not enjoy is the shaving down part. I love how it makes me feel, but I do not like the time it takes, or in some circumstances, the pain it inflicts. Now, I have been bleeding from this ankle cut now for about half an hour. That's not enjoyable.
Amory, mate. Amory's being my mini me today, aren't you, Amory? Yeah. How'd they go? I don't know, I didn't see my time. 33.9. 33, 9. 33 8. Oh. Yeah. Did you? Did you? <laughs> Big man, Sonny. Support team videographer um, Ahmed Warad here. I was trying to go home, he wanted to go home, uh, but he's in the final, so he's got to stay. Go! Go! So because this meet is sponsored by Speedo, we get Speedo prizes. So we don't know what Molly's won, but she has got a third place. Come on then, let's see what we get. This is the prize room. What did you get, Molly? Santa has visited Molly and brought her a present. But she doesn't know yet. It is a pool boy. She, she will love waking up to this present. What have you got there, Amelia? It looks great, the kickboard. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh no, we got it. Is it? Yeah. Great. Best thing. Best thing so far. Doesn't even matter about this. This is what you came for. Excellent. Team videographer Ahmed Warad is now team masseuse, and I say team masseuse, but he's not even. He's not even working on our teammate. Sergey's infiltrated camp, getting, getting a massage, but Ethan's doing it manually. And this, this, is not, this is not fair. Olivia's been waiting. She's been, she's been looking after whiny Molly and also decorating her shoes. You need it some cold. You're all, you're, you're disgusting. Oh. Where'd you get the plant, Jack? My socks are nice. Mother of Ethan, go steal some. Lauren has won the worst. Lauren has won the worst mm. prize so far. Yeah, she... and we're going to try to make a mesh mine. Yeah. Like it. So we're going to build it up. And I know, Alex. Do you know the mission? Talk here? louder. We need a snow. I've got for every single one of my lines. Pole boy and fins, but we don't know whether they do fins. We need a mesh mine. We need a mesh mine as well. We're compressing from 2XU outlet, Angad's compressing his arms, Maria's compressing her legs, Marwan's compressing his guns. <laughs> I've got my other Mizuno buddy, my other little doppelganger, Angad, in the 50 bag final. Well, this boy means business, look at the hood up. Pablo Fabi. Pablo, you said it's relay time. What time is it, Ethan? It's relay time. Hello. 
me and Pablo just, just chilling with the opposition. We've got the, uh, the B team of wow. Angad, Alex, Marwan, and the C. If it was a free that really, team, this is the girls team. B team stands for best team. We've got almost the whole A team. It's way on Ethan. Here's the other Marlins girls team. So we're going to introduce the showdowns. Um, head to head, we've got Angad and um, Pablo. Yeah. Breaststroke head to head is Ethan and Alex. <laughs> Fly head to head is me and Warad. And then freestyle head to head. So on two of the legs, the B team are considerably bigger than the A team. But what we have, what we lack in height, we have, we, we, we have in power. It's not about the dog. Experience. 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 It's not about the dog. It's it's about fighting the dog. We have a 13-year-old. And by we, I mean me, Ethan, Pablo and Stu, not Angad or Alex. We, in our relay, won at these lovely pool boys. Which Ethan has claimed for himself. We can share them out, it's okay. I don't want them. I'm on a little mission to find the biggest guy in the pool. Hi. Apparently it's not me anymore. It was me yesterday. Now. Ooh. Now it might be this guy. Yeah. Joe, you can be the second biggest guy in the pool. <laughs> so this is Joe Page. He's back from Yao. The rumor has it no one's ever told the difference between Finn and Joe. This is Henry. Hi. He's fresh off his little uh, 148. And if anyone wants to know what lactate looks like, we can find him in lane three. <laughs> Eight and there he is. This, this is a ball of lactate. Every meet he does more than 100 races a day and dies. It's just great to watch. It's, I'm all about the entertainment factor. <laughs> Allegedly, these two skinny, lanky, gangly things are the first two seeds into the boys' 15, 1600 free final later. My boys, Henry and Angad, a little 100 free showdown. Go time. Yeah, it's not a 49 yet, but it's 50 again. voice is a little bit uh, faint. It's the day after the meet, so I'm back in Muscat now. What a meet it was. Everything about it was epic from how the kids we coached swim, how I swam, how people from other clubs swam. I'll quickly go through my races. I've got footage of pretty much most of them, but morning one, started the 100 fly, I went a PB of 55.4 which qualifies me to swim next week at the Shortwalks Nationals. 
I then went at 22, nine and 53, my first time under 23. So that just felt amazing. And then that same session, I, I finished off at 100 IM. And again, I got the national time for next weekend, 58.3. That whole session, three races, really did take a toll. That night I was pretty, pretty sore. 53 final didn't go great, 23-3, big drop. Got beaten by ex-Olympian Ivan Ledger. He went 23-1, but it was really fun racing him. And then we, um, we got together with the boys. We've done the relay, me, Pablo, Ethan, Stu. Again, I've got footage of this, I'm sure. And we, we, we set the club record by three seconds. So that was a great, great finish to the event. Next day, I swam 100 free heat, 50 fly heat and 100 free heat. 50 fly heat, I just breathed every stroke, a little chill. And just to make the final, there were only nine competitors. So it was almost straight final. And then 103, that was that was not my finest finest hour or finest minute. It was 51.6. It's not really acceptable to go in that time with um, a 22 PB for 50, but we move on. And then I finished off the meet with a 24.850 fly in the, in the final there. Um, big PB, first time under 25. And again, just getting pipped to the finish by uh, Ivan Ledger, Ivan Ledger. I hope I'm saying his name right if I'm not. Apologies, Ivan. But yeah, he's he was 2009 European Short Horse Medalist in 100 Fly, but 49, he's been 22-7 before, so he's only just got back in the pool, just seeing what he can do really, so I'm sure he's gonna get faster and faster as the months go on. If, on to the kids, obviously Henry, you know him from the videos. He moved to Hamilton at the beginning of the season. He, mate, he stepped up in unbelievable ways, he's 16. He went 148.6 yesterday morning, the 203. I've looked. That ranks him as the fourth fastest ever 16 year old in Britain behind Matt Richards, Duncan Scott, and Ed Mildred, who is currently 16 as well. Um, all phenomenal talents. And this puts him in front of people like Robbie Rennick, who we had visit last year, James Guy, some mates of mine who are legendary at that age, like Caleb Hughes, Martin Walton. So yeah, he, he was on fire. He flipped in 52-0, which coming to this meet was his 103 PB. And that morning he went 50.8 in the 100, so he missed 51 altogether. And in the evening he went 50.3. Yeah, this boy's flying. The sky's the limit for him. So of our kids, so many of them, I don't really know where to start. Um, they were great, I'm pretty sure all but a few made finals. We had so many top three finishes as a club, but they were, they were great. They, they had a great attitude. The PB rate was off the charts. And Marwan go sub minute for the first time. We had Nassib go sub minute for the first time. So that's always a big one. Pablo agonizingly close to going sub two minutes, two double zero, oh two. Oh, all, all sorts of massive PBs going on. I'm, I'm not forgetting people on purpose, but it was great. It was awesome. As always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, tell your teammates about it, and I'll see you on the next video.